this video is a brief update on the work I've been doing on Cold Waters Expanded. Um, here you can see the Trafalgar class model in game, traditionally showing the completed version first. And I'm going to take this for a little spin. So you can see underwater, this is the pump jet version. Zero, three, and I'm going to do four, a bit of target identification zero, now, two. skipping forward to where I've got them all identified. Two, so this zero, is an alpha. Eight, two, so I. maybe you could present a challenge. But maybe not. These Toyofish torpedoes were specifically designed for taking out the Alpha class. So I'm going to skip forward again now to where I've got the targets fully identified Con, and good solutions. Helm, steady course. So I'm going to fire off a custom torpedo. These are brand new models that I'll show you a bit more detail of in a minute. Um, and we'll skip forward to where he's acquiring. Con, fire control, weapon acquired. So here's the torpedo just acquiring. Um, and here's our poor unfortunate Alpha, who still hasn't heard me. Yeah, nice little model of the Alpha. And there's our torpedo and our sub in the background. I think about now he hears us. He's returning fire at the torpedo and he's dropped a decoy. Gun, so you can see the torpedo is turned away. I've lost the wire. Rig ship for ultra quiet. Torpedo turns back in towards him. And at this point, he probably can't hear it. But he's not going to get away, not turning in like that. And it's good point. Gun, sonar it. lost contact. Sierra, one. Last bearing, zero. Three, two. Contact breaking up. So now I'll show a bit more detail of the models in the background. So here's the Trafalgar class model. This is in Blender. So this is a fully custom model that I've made uh, for this game in Blender. You can see I've got a prop version and a pump jet version ready to go because some of the Trafalgars had props and some had pump jets. Here's the model all textured up a little bit. Um, one of the disadvantages of doing a uh, model import this way is that Unity doesn't really understand Blender materials, so we'll have to do some extra work on the materials in a minute. This is how you do the export. So, export out to an FBX file, which Unity can then import. And here's some of the models in Unity. These are the torpedo models, so you can see I've got materials applied. Um, if we go into models, you can see there's the models all tucked away in there. So four torpedoes in the sub. And each model is tagged for an export into an asset bundle. The same goes for all their materials. These are now properly set up in Unity. So you can see I've used a bunch of different things pulling in these textures, which are also all tagged for the asset bundle. So in one click, I can pull it all together for export. 